The other term that's really important to understand will be dry ice. Can dry ice happen? It can happen in a system, but it's very rare that happen. Where I would see it the most is on the safety side is in gauges when someone's charging. So if someone never charged CO2, but they charged a lot of refrigeration HFC system, they got to really understand what is happening. When you're below that 61 PSI or 4.2 bar, I think it is, when you're below that and you try to charge with liquid, we'll say, it will cause dry ice. And that's something to understand because that is a safety factor. Inside a system, though, our pressures are always above. Our pressures are always above that triple point, it's called to create dry ice. And so when we're above the triple point, we don't have to worry about dry ice. So when you got a system up and running, you're not going to worry about that. There are a few cases where you will worry about that. Uh, for example, if you're doing a liquid line filter change, you want to make sure that you properly pump that out. You have your gauges set up. You also have that set up to maybe uh, after all the liquids out, you have that set up to the low temp suction. And then you've slowly feed that in there till you get down to low temp suction pressure. We know we got no liquid in there. Now we can open up that after we release the pressure down to atmosphere. Now we can open that up. 